Hello, welcome back to Grand Turismo 7, and today we gotta do review. Okay, I, I gotta just make sense on this video. To be honest, we, you know, the, the, in this coming GT World GT World Challenge Asia series, just a couple of, uh, just on, on the spot. Well, actually, uh, on the way to be honest, which is a fun fact is, it, this time this week is a Fuji Speedway round. Uh, actually, to be honest, and one thing is, one of the cars in the in the series, I I know the people gotta take it. Who, which car is it? I gotta I'll talk about it later. Which is, is it, in this this video, we, we gotta talk about two cars which is came out with same year actually. But fun, fun, one fat fun, one fat is that this car is update on GT Sport. They came out at the same time as well. Hell, um, yeah. Speaking about the car. We, just came out in 2019. Well, actually, the revi the revival of the and the car, which is bring back to life after the 17 years of hibernate, uh, which is the one name him on uh, it. Yeah, the one name he's talking about is this one, the Toyota Supra. So the Toyota Supra, oh, oh I should say Toyota GR Supra, which is a fun bet is a, uh, which is in the revival of the the name from. On what 2002, the, the Super finished off the production in 2002, and revived it back in 2019. 17 mm -hmm. years apart. Yes, it is. And one thing about this car is pretty much identical as the concept one. I gotta show you one of the concept one here. This one here, the FT1. So the, the FT1 all was I, which is a the concept version uh, for the Supra, uh, which is almost the, the design itself is uh, it's the design itself, which is. It's similar. It has a similarity of that one. So the GR Supra, who's the people thinking? Who's designing this car? Well, actually, the the project chief designer of the GR Supra was is Nobuo Nakamura. Yeah, Nobuo Nakamura uh, is the chief designer of this car as well. And one of the rest the recipe is this car has a, the, has the must be rear wheel drive as the the previous uh, finish of the, the finished production the car back in the 2002. Yeah. That, a sports car should be as say this car is, has a three liter straight six engine which is a a compo almost the com same component engine as the BMW Z4 which is which is a really which is, I say related with the BMW Z4 or as say the BMW Z4 has has the convertible is a convertible roadster this one is co coupe version yeah this one has same engine when they came out with it has a three like I said it has three liter straight six turbocharged engine, three hundred thirty five horsepower and five hundred newton meters of torque. And comes with the first when did it came how it com comes with HPO automatic by ZF. And then later they came with the manual transmission. <laughs> it is. The fun fact is in the latest one, the the current one like this, the twenty twenty has a three hundred eighty two horsepower as well. 382 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque, and the, this one is 335, which is a different horsepower and a different weight. This particular Supra is a, it weighs only 1,520 kilograms, which is a, a little bit, a heavy, a bit, and a little bit lighter than the 2020. Yeah, yeah a little bit lighter, I should say. Sorry. I, Sorry, I, I almost I got flu. So the reason the new Supra is a, a re, a revive from the, he, he was what's it called revive from the hibernated for 17 years. This is the I Akio Toyota, I bring back at the name again because of, of this car and also most of the drifters use one of these things back in the 2019. Well, actually D1 drivers use this car as well, which is Kawabata. Kawabata Masato and Saito Daigo, I should say. So this car has eight different colors. Yeah, you may know already. Yeah, I put it on. You may know the color already put on, already on, which is a matte storm gray, in metallic, which is the A90 edition. He came out on UK, a market version of this car. So I didn't remember how many, yeah, how many of them, about hundreds of one of these things they came with the A90 edition, and on this one. And then we have it in a lot of colors as well. The deep blue metallic, lightning yellow, prominence red, which is a, the most popular color. Uh, well, um, I say a popular color. It's a color most people like it on the red. Black metallic, 
ice gray metallic, silver metallic, and also white metallic. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And the newer one, we're talking about, it has the newest color, Horizon Blue. Who? This one here is a, one of the coolest one. Even though it uh, looks familiar with the FT1, but this one is pretty much um, fascinating as well. So this one here, we you got st street car version. What about the racing car version? here this is what a racing car I gotta say hey about it so GR Supra race car uh, this is what the you here according to racing one is a group 4 which is a GT4 category here yeah, I think they came out this particular one uh, here is a racing car version for GR Supra which is Rogue version and then 2020 they came with a Super GT uh, Super GT which is the most powerful thing in, in the racing one. So this car has the same engine and B58 3 liter straight six turbocharged engine. The same engine is used a road going inversion of Toyota Toyota Su uh, Toyota GR Supra and the BMW Z4, which is a late related uh, chassis for that. It has 394 horsepower and 587 newton meters of torque. If you who know this about the in this one here, because I uh, I'm using a method from the in my previous video, which is a GR Supra race car video over on my channel, yeah, you can check it out later as well. And also, this has the six speed gearbox, I think. I did well, I didn't know that, I didn't remember that. Is this car has six speed? I, so I get it, to check. yeah, this, it was six speed, or maybe so. And weighs about 1379 kilos. This is a more lighter version, about a couple of a couple of hundred kilos, 150 kilos, about it, 150. He had a 41, 141 kilos lighter in the one. So if you don't know, I already have one of these and the 2019 version. So you may not this is later. So let's check the color. I already have of this car as well. So you want to see this car race? I, I gotta put it in in the race right now.
if you guys think if you guys asking me here in like this what how you gonna how you gonna get hit the Koshido racing livery so you can search on the e style with the contents right here you can and search here the con content yeah, this is a Koshido racing the, the last year's of livery in the 2022 season on the GT World uh, and uh, Asia the series car this is his uh, this is one in his color so people are gonna ask me who's driving on, on, on this car well actually it has two drivers on on the Koshido racing actually one of them is a team owner and also racing driver Motoharu Sato and also the Super GT driver Katsuyuki Hiranaka you may know how oh, these guys are on the Fanatec GT will uh, challenge Asia series as well and Katsuyuki, Katsuyuki Hiranaka is an enable driver for the Super GT as well and you may know Oh, this this one here. This is I gotta put an honorable mention as as well. If you don't know who is this Mo Motoharu Sat who san was Sato san is a, a the direct team director and also racing driver for Koshido Racing. You may know one video from the Sena Kasekoshi's video her YouTube channel. Well, one her video from her channel as well. But, but she has a lot of good re content as well. You may know who this. Uh, Motoharu Sato-san interview Yomichi Yuki. If you don't know who is Yomichi Yuki, he, Yomichi Yuki is a voice actress, YouTuber, motorcycle enthusiast, and also a model. Which is unfair is I follow her on on Instagram. If may not say I I was spoken the truth. Who oh, actually she? He was a fun, a fun little, a fun girl. Well, as well she was have a lot of content. You know, mostly motorcycle related. And you may notice this is this Koshido race in what well, is a motor a motor sat I drive one of these things. Yes. And one thing I see in in his his racing car in in, in his garage, which is him, which is motor sat interview on to you. He back in what a couple of months ago, actually twenty twenty second of twenty second of December last year, and and that's on the back best thing. If you motor sat, if you want to watch this video. <laughs> so next, we're we'll talking about a Supra, the, the late newer the Supra, which is fun fact is 2019, which is uh, when the Toyota can bring back uh, the Supra name after 17 years of of hype, the Supra name vanished from on what vanished from a, a couple of you know, 17 years now, 17 years, yeah. When when did the, the Supra came finish off that? in 2002 mostly sports car at time finish up the action like Mazda RX-7 the, the Nissan Silvia uh, Nissan Silvia and the Ma a Toyota Supra as well and also Nissan Skyline GTR yeah that at time Nissan Skyline GTR is the most uh, one of the most a uh, couple of cars have finished up the action in 2002 the reason the one thing is the GR Supra came back in 2019 this car is a uh, uh, people want see it back and return yeah the, the people call it Mark 5 Super the one for this car as well the fun fact is 2019 the most greatest year of all time the GR Supra is back Daigo Saito drove, uh, drove the GR Supra uh, on it and also Kawabata Masa Saito Daigo drove uh, this car as well and Kawabata Masato who uh, also drive this car as well back in the 2019 well one thing is Kawabata at that time, drove the Supra with the 2J 3.4 liter engine, and then in the final round in Autopolis, he changed to the V8 83UZ engine, which is single turbo on it. And Daigo keeping the 2J 3.4 liter, but his da Daigo Supra with the, not just a have a turbo, but the 2JZ and 3.4 liter. They, he also have anti lag. That was the most was best sounding in 2J there. He put it an anti lag on it. <laughs> oh, this is pretty much long, I should say. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more Grand Turismo 7 or any other video on this, this channel, be sure to smash a like, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Link in the description box below. Don't forget this week, can watch GT, GT World Challenge Asia series on the YouTube as well. No. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, if you don't know, the, the reason why. I put a 
on the drive on the Fuji, play this game with on video on the Fuji Speedway because this weekend is the Fuji Speedway run on the GT World Challenge GT World Challenge the Asia series, which is a is it one some people want talking about her this weekend as well. Hell yeah, it is the the getting people waiting for and also so don't forget uh, follow us yeah Sena Sena Kazekoshi his channel oh, and also Twitter link in the description box below Yobichi Yuki he as well link in the description box below and uh, on her Twitter and YouTube as well and Motoharu Sato -san, his YouTube channel link in the description box below oh, as well and follow his Facebook Twitter Instagram and also oh, Hoyo Lab link in the description box below see you guys soon Assalamualaikum and goodbye.